hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's tutorial we are learning a new lesson i am grateful for you to view my channel because i can assure you we have many many things to learn from this youtube channel so if you have not subscribed just consider clicking on the subscription button and the notification bell to get alert once i upload new content so guys um in today's tutorial I want to teach us how to do, you know, mock-up logos, you know, maybe you are doing your hard work and you are trying to do a, a, a mock-up for it, you know, a mock-up logo and uh, so let's see what you are going to do. Um, this is your Pinterest app, the link will be in the description button, description um, section rather. So just click on it, <coughs> make sure your data connectivity is on, it's very very important and uh, um, search for, let's see, uh, just search for it. Or 3D frame, but just let's search for frame. Frame is free. All right, so and uh, let it load up. It will bring many options, and uh, just need to choose the one you want. Uh, for example, now let me click on this. All right, so uh, you can choose to download this by clicking on the three dots down there. Uh, just click on it and click on download image. All right, so it's the image downloaded over there, so it will automatically save your gallery then we can still continue flipping and um, till you see another one that you like that you wish to use for your design all right you see all these ones the time curves i'm still going to make another tutorial on that you know it's uh, a different thing entirely so i'm going to make a tutorial for us on that um but for now let us find uh logo can you i mean uh frame we can use and this likewise you can choose to use it you know despite the fact that it has hands and uh, any other properties you may want on it you see so there are many many frames that you can do what you can do just depend on what you want all right uh, let us search for another name and let's see the outcome it will bring let me search for frame model. Let's see, um, there's not supposed to be hyphen, but let's see what's gonna pop so for us. Alright. Alright, so it has two here. Alright. Uh, but just let's continue till I find the one I I love. Though we've downloaded one, but I just want to make it to so that it can be more realistic for us. Um, just very quickly, just let me choose anyone. You can choose to you know, go through everything and there are thousands and thousands of frames there. Alright, so you can choose to download this likewise. Just click on three dots <clears throat> and hit the download um, name there. And also, you can just download this. And also, if you are not finding any satisfactory one here, just go to your free pick. Alright, then you'll be able to see, I mean, good quality um, frames there. Alright, so let me put off my data now after you've done this uh we're making use of our pixel app just let me show you that i should have moved it down was there all right this pixel app here we are making use of it so just click on it uh the description to download it also will be in the uh, description box all right so there's a link to download and so now if you want to start working on this uh maybe i'll just make a quick introduction on Pix lab all right oh, i can just quickly go through it all right so we have text and uh, but to go straight to what we want to do i'm going to give a quick recap of what the application is all about later so just click on this from gallery all right i'm sorry uh, and click on these pins it will surely be on the pins it's okay I um, choose any kind of logo you want. Uh, I mean, frame you want. For example, let's choose um, this. All right. So you can resize it as you want, but I love the size like this. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is to click on the shape, shapes. All right. And then, um, firstly, let's change the color and let's see what we have got. Click the check mark. All right okay and um, choose uh, perspective you can see it here click on perspective and 
look at upward here you can see your zoom icon so just click on it to zoom so as you can see so if you want to um, shift this this um, shape you have to click on this uh, um, zoom button again so that it can be disabled then you just shift it to anywhere you want as you can see me doing likewise this area shift it also likewise this area all right so uh, even if you are making mistakes at some point there are still corrections to that all right good so let me zoom back let's see then click on this enable button all right so i'll click on check mark can you see what we've done uh but no worries about the places that are not covered we can leave it like that just click on this texture hope you can see it here this texture all right and then click on the image icon uh, in front of it you see it's still at pins and uh, let me just try and um see a picture i can take in all right All right, just for example, let um, let me use this. All right, just for example, put one. All right, and click on the check mark. Can you see how fit it is to it? So just click on this button to fit everything into the box. All right, and then click on check mark. Can you see what we've done? Uh, but we're not done yet. So click on it again. Then come to these uh, strokes enable it then you can click on this plus color to get the kind of color that is with the frame so click on the press co uh, plus color i mean icon and then this um, icon up over there like, that looks like bib soccer click on it likewise and then uh, you can choose to zoom and then pick the lens color of the frame can you see that so click on check mark and hold here uh, then you can choose to adjust uh, the stroke of what you want it to be all right so it is at four three now let me see two all right i think three will be better can you see some of the edges there are closed now you can click on it again and just put on shadow can you see that and then you can put it on blow you know to be three good so guys we're done just import your logo and put it on it but some of you may still want to do something further click on this picture and um your emboss here can you see it all right uh, click on this sign here this enable all right so you can see something is different there the lightning and everything i like everything is different so click on it then you can rotate the light to any area of your choice where you want it to be all right so you can choose to put it in the center somehow i think 49 is somehow okay then this intensity has to do it maybe you want it darkened or lighter you, you understand so you can just choose to balance it yourself and then this aim light also has to do with that but it has to do with the uh general highlights and looks of uh the picture and this spectacular ad uh, adness it has to do with the bevel itself all right how darkened it will be the bevel effect itself is that okay and you can just increase that a little let's see not too light and not too dark let's see our him light also um i think him light is better like this now this is the bevel itself so you choose how you know effective it can be can you see the hedges upwards and um other areas so you can just click on the check mark and see what we've got so that's just how to you know do pictures like this so if you want to change it also um just click on this texture again all right and then you click on this picture icon let me put the picture you want is that okay i think that's very simple enough so guys please consider subscribing to this youtube channel share the youtube link to your friends so that they can benefit from this channel once again thank you guys for watching bye